Thanks for that, Dan. Expecting this to be a banger. <laughs> Mark Ladies Barilli. And first leg is Mark to throw first. Game on. Yeah, Mark Barilli beat Callum Luce and Joe Mernon in qualifying, but outside those couple of wins, the only player he's beaten in the last couple of months 45. is Paul Nicholson, and anybody can beat him. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, as you said, Ratajski, eight qualifiers entered, eight qualifiers won. Bearing in mind that only one man progresses from said qualifiers. Just casts a spell over. 100. East Europe and books his place on the European Tour stage. And as you mentioned, Dan, well, it'll be hard work for him not to qualify for the European Championship. Currently sitting 18th on the European Tour order of merit. We expect to see him in Hassel later this year. And that is why the kind of dart he has been throwing. And often he's won his first game three times. He's made it through to the second round. He's yet to be a seeded player. But the caveat to that is twice he's met Peter Wright in round two. Well, the guy who knocked him out last time and he had match darts was Kim Villianen, wasn't it? And Kim Villianen went on to beat Peter Wright. It just shows that Christoph Ratajski's playing some fantastic darts. And that visit there, treble 20, treble 19, treble 18, that, in my book, is better than a 180. I love that visit. 55. The horse they Chris throw it in soft tip. 54. Oh, Willie doubles are even Chris better than that, though. 11 data from Christoph Tyson. What a start from a Polish Game champion. On. Have you actually got a book about which are the best scores and finishes in darts? Are you yeah, I've got, I've, got, I've, got a, I've got a ranking. I've got a ranking. signing somewhere this weekend. Yeah. Well, I'll give you a copy for a discount. 40. Sixty. The story so far today, Walsh, Richardson and Henderson through. 81. And in your book, Dan, who would be favourite for this contest, I guess? You'd have to go with Ratajski, wouldn't you? I, I'm hugely impressed with Ratajski. I think he's been absolutely superb on the European Tour. I know we've talked about him a lot because he keeps turning up and he keeps finding ways to win games. And even the ones he, he loses, he tends to put up a, a really good fight against some of the biggest 45. names in the game and Ratajski will be delighted that he's not 85. up against a Van Gerwen or Peter Wright in the next round if he gets through this having said that he's up against an informed Joe Cullen I mean it's any of these seeded players it's, it's always going to be a tough game but he has really been he's been pitted against Peter Wright so many times um, but I, I think that Ratajski has been a revelation on the European Tour this year. The one thing I would say is I saw, I commentated on Mark Barilli last weekend, we were in Wigan, and yes, he beat Paul Nicholson, but the game I did was him and Robert Thornton, and he well, lost it 6-5 in a frenetically paced game, which was hugely high quality. And just like that, I mean, he runs to the board. He'll chuck his darts away so quickly. He was hitting pretty much everything he was going for. Thornton played fantastically to beat him. It was only a second round game. 94. Amber really won that and carried on playing in the manner that he was. He could have had a real run that day. Double six. There it is. On the second leg. Mark Marini. 1-1. One, one. The leg is Mark to throw first. Game on. There's a, a rapid thrower. Up there to rival the likes of Ricky Evans. He does take aim with his first dub. But after that, they just fired out so quickly. And look at the way he moves around. The, I mean, he, he just does not... He, he practically runs to the board and to the back of the state. There's no messing around with Mark Barilli. Oh, yeah, no messing around there. It's another three-trouble visit for Christoph Ratajski. And another one where all what three darts were not in the same target. Two of them in the treble 20 this time. One down to the treble 19. Now, the other thing that we must mention is that this week saw the 60. fourth anniversary of a European oh, Tour well nine-dart finish. And it would be unfair to say we haven't had a slip 60. of one since then, because in recent tournaments they have been very close. Will the curse ever be lifted? No. Is the answer you look for? We are going to show you some of the best darts you will ever see on the European Tour. We have been doing this year, have been doing for the last four years. 
We're going to continue to do that for the rest of this year and next year. And who knows where this European tour will go as it grows. 45. It goes to new countries, it's Copenhagen and Denmark next year, of course. But if you're watching looking for a nine data, you ain't going to get one. It would have been interesting if there had been a, a rolling jackpot on nine data. <laughs> <dollars, laughs> it would be about £10 billion pounds by now. Yeah. Oof. 35. There's the downside to Mark Borelli, going so quickly. First dart wasn't the target area. Second dart was closer. And third dart, way off. And it means that he's not down to a finish, so there's no real 74. problems for Christoph Ratajski in not taking out the checkout. Leaves himself double 16. And, well, it is looking... 95. Like it'll be 2-1 to one one the pole. 32. I think he might have just started taking aim at the wrong it's double then, but realised before, Tuskey. shook his head. Fourth leg is Christoph to throw first. Game on. And landed the double, and Barilli was that fast to the hockey that time that he forgot that it was not his turn to throw. <laughs> Kirk Bevans just uh, putting him back in his place. But it's three breaks and a 2-1 lead. 54. To Ratajski. Yeah, we saw a succession of breaks of throw in the last game between Henderson and Campbell before Hendo put his foot down and pulled away from his Northern Irish opponent. We're going to see something similar here because you look at the averages and Ratajski is absolutely dominating. You know, 95, well, 92, there we go. Play 76. Ooh, oh, and it's another one! My word! In three of the first four legs, Christoph Ratajski has had a big three treble visit. 69. Still no 180s yet. Doesn't matter. Three scores better than a 180. Did everything but actual amassed points. Is that it again? 130. I quite like that because a lot of players would have stayed on the 20s because a ton would have left 170 and leave to finish. He knows that Barilli is not going to leave a finish, so he's just trying to give himself the best chance of scoring as many points as possible. So that's sensible from Christoph Ratajski. Well, there does seem to be a huge gulf in class so far. He is only one 58. leg in front, but looking to double that advantage with the next visit to the board. 100. Christoph Uruguay, 76. Trouble 20 for double eight. 16 tops then. 56. One dart missed, but he will return. Having a look at double 10. But really, this is what he can do. 123. Bounding around the stage, Mark Barilli. Back in this leg. But for how much longer? Not it's very long at all, it turns out. 3-1 Ratajski. Well, the pole has taken control. And now Barilli needing to uh, up his 45. game somewhat. It'd be interesting to get the take of Paul Nicholson later on if but really was a, a student at the Assets Dart School. Mm. Would he suggest he just perhaps slowed down a, a tad? 40. Well, I mean, he could do, but then again, Mark Barilli has been around for a long, old time. I'm not sure Mark Barilli is going to be 56. changing a great deal about his time. I mean, he was Scottish Masters champion almost a decade ago now. Two-time winner of that tournament, actually. And if you talk to any of the guys who are based up in Scotland, 59. You know, the likes of Hendo, Jamie Bain, I was having a chat with last weekend, the just sheer number and 100. quality of players up in that part of the world, things like the, the Elgin Open, which is uh, something that Mark Verrilli's won, they say that the standard is terrifying. A lot of these guys, you know, they're up in the north of Scotland, they don't really want to commit to travelling all over and commit themselves to playing full-time darts. But even the guys who just do it as a, a bit of a hobby, there's some serious darts played up there. Yeah, and often when you take away a certain part that seems to be a, a flaw in someone's game, it can actually take away the best part of the mm -hmm. game as well. A bit like the, uh, the footballer who gets sent off once yeah. every seven games, but you tell him to be less aggressive and he's ineffective. Yeah. You, know, do you, you don't want to lose that bit of his game, do you? That, that old argument. 45. Probably, probably do want to lose those 45s from Mark yeah. game. He's in danger of losing this leg and increasing danger of losing this match. 88. Absolutely top quality side-eye work from Christoph Ratajski there as he just checks the score, does the maths and ends up leaving himself tops. 
99. Again, Barilli really manages to drag himself back into this leg, but it might not be for very long. Game shot on the fat leg. Double ten Christoph once again Ritaski. does the job for Christoph Ritaiski. It's 4-1 with Christoph another break of throw. And after 3-6-2 wins today, Christoph Ritaiski looks to be continuing the trend of a pretty authoritative display. One hundred and twenty-one. Yeah, going through the uh, fixtures this afternoon at a kind of Mark Burley like 80. pace. Could be in for an early lunch, Dan. One hundred and forty. Chris Murphy betraying his priorities there. 60. Man's got to eat. It's quite a big priority in life, to be fair. 60. Darts, eat, sleep, repeat, or something 60. like that. Something along those lines. You put it on t t-shirt. I'm wearing the t-shirt. 81. This is the 81, Mark Barilli. It's... It <laughs> The start in the middle part of legs, the scoring just has not been there. But really, is is not even averaging 80 at the minute. And against a man averaging in the mid 90s, as you expect now from Christoph Rosowski, that's what he's been doing on the European Tour right the way through this year. Again, he's left double top, 12 darts thrown. Christoph, you require four. And Rosowski is absolutely bossing this game. 10, and there it is, double Christoph 10 Ritaski. once again. That's the third leg running that Christoph Ritaski has hit double 10. 5-1, and Barilli on the brink. Yeah, certainly gathering 400. fans and admirers. Christoph Ritaski through his performances on the European Tour this year. I think the term that you used earlier on, Dan, is pretty 100. much the correct description, a revelation. Be a nice nickname, wouldn't it? A bit of alliteration in there. The Revelation Ratajski. 100. Goes for the Polish champion, which is accurate. It, it, yeah, I mean, it's very much a Ron Seal nickname. Oh, well, you're on champion in Poland, all right. 140. Well, Brill is still in this leg. 81. But there's always... A loose dart at the wrong time, isn't there? Well, I mean, that first dart looked absolutely perfect, didn't it? The next one was a good inch away, and the next one didn't stay straight. 94. Ratajski, almost the polar opposite, or Polish opposite, is constantly... 95. Every, every dart seems to get the same amount of care and attention, Christoph Ratajski, and it's paying dividends for him. Can okay, he finish with a flourish and a fanfare? Not quite. There's a shot 83. for the showboaters in front of the Scotsman right now. 65. First of you acquire 84. 84 then for the biggest win of the day so far. Double 12. Fantastic work. Christoph Ratajski celebrates. Ritaski. Bouncing back from a first round exit. Last time out on the Euro Tour to Kim Villianen. Ratajski is through to round two and will take on Joe Cullen. And once again, Ratajski has put in a very solid mid-90s average. He hit 60% of his doubles and Joe Cullen is not going to have it easy against this man who keeps qualifying for these tournaments and keeps impressing. Ratajski through. We've got four players in the second round from today's matches. Coming up, it's the first host nation qualifier in action, Stefan Seatman against Jermaine Watamina, the machine gun. Comfortable on stage, is that right? Yes, yes, I feel comfortable now. I I had a very good doubles. It was a very quick. It it was very good for me. Yeah, it was the score was okay. What is possible in the next couple of months? What is what is your goal? What 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 else, what's your plan for for the future? Uh, a plan for the future. Of course, it's a European Championship, yeah, and still in the, this ranking European. And I hope I, I uh, will still in this ranking and I will play in European Championship. Yeah, it's good to see you again here. Thank you very much.
Christoph Radzeiski.